हरे कृष्णा डोंट डिप्रेस योर सेल्फ डिप्रेस योर एक्सपेक्टेशंस फ्रॉम योर सेल्फ समटाइम्स व्हेन वी ट्राई टू डू समथिंग वेरी चैलेंजिंग इन आर लाइफ एंड वी वी सेट टारगेट्स वी मेक प्लान्स एंड वी मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड देन वी फाइंड दैट वी जस्ट फॉलिंग एक्सट्रीम फार फार टू शॉर्ट ऑफ इट वी बिकम डिप्रेस्ड वी स्टार्ट थिंकिंग am i worth anything will i be able to achieve anything and in this way we just uh, lose heart and this depression can be crippling now rather than letting ourselves become depressed like this we need to depress we should uh, depress our expectations from ourselves that means don't expect unrealistic uh, growth unrealistic changes a certain this does not mean to that we should be lazy or unambitious rather it means that we need to recognize that growth is a gradual process that a baby or a small child who is learning to crawl may see an olympic athlete on tv the child may want to run like that olympic athlete but child cannot just get up and start running like that as so the child is crawling then they take the first you know, crawling then they start walking with somebody's help they start walking a slowly little distance then that child starts walking a longer distance then the child starts running and then the child starts running super fast it's all a gradual process and what is na gradual in nature cannot be accelerated artificially it has to take its time so you know, similarly actually <clears throat> when we practice spiritual life and we try to realize our spiritual identity when we try to Uh, give up our material attachments and focus ourselves on krishna all this cannot happen overnight it's a lifelong journey sometimes it's a multiple lifetime journey and we need to slowly but steadily take steps onwards so if we expect pure devotion overnight we will be depressing ourselves because it will not happen krishna talks about this in the bhagavad gita when he says nahi gyane na sadrusham pavit विद्यते तत्स्वयं योग संसिद्ध फ्रूट ऑफ योग and from this as yogic realization matures one delights kalen atmani vindati one delights in the self one experiences sublime happiness spiritual happiness one experiences by the process of purification so essentially what we need to do is slowly move onwards towards krishna and krishna talks about this again when we talk about mind control he says in 6.25 and 26 uh, शनै शनैरुपरमे बुद्ध्या धृतिगृहीत आत्मसंस्थ मन कृवा न किंचिदी चिंत शनै शनै स्लोली स्टेप बै स्टेप उपरमे ब्रिंग द मै सी ब्रिंग द मैंड फोकस्ड स्टॉप इट्स वैंड्रिंग बुद्ध्या धृतिगृहीत विथ इंटेलिजें सस्टेन बै कन्वेक्षन आत्मसंस्थ मन कृवा न किंचिदी चिंत फोकस द मैंड ऑन द सेल्फ एंड डोंट लेट इट वैंडर now when we you know some we may give, get an instruction like this and we find it is utterly impractical but immediately krishna addresses our concern in the next verse he says yato yato nischalati manaschanchalam asthiram tatastato niyam yai tad atmanye bhavasham nayet so he says yato yato nischalati wherever and whenever the mind wanders manaschanchalam asthiram that's its nature to wander it's the restless it is uh, unsteady तस्तो नियम यही तद आत्मन्य वशम न ये we can bring it back under the control of the self so rather than expecting the mind to be focused immediately we can be prepared that the mind is going to wander and prepared doesn't mean that we abandon the effort for mind control rather we become prepared to bring the mind back under focus of the self so like that when we say depress our expectation doesn't mean that we don't endeavor it means that we persevere in our endeavor even if we don't get overnight results and actually the process of bhakti is so potent 
that if we keep practicing it even in the practice if we don't let ourselves get dejected by thoughts that we are not able to meet certain standards if we just focus on trying to connect with krishna trying to absorb ourselves in krishna we can actually experience taste we can experience joy and not only in the result even in the process we can be joyful what to speak of then in the result when we'll be supremely eternally joyful thank you are krishna